Hey guys, it's Rachel and today I am back at it with last minute Halloween DIYs. Now before I get started with this video, I know a lot of you say I'm really chatty. I really do need to thank you all for watching my Yeezy boot video. I had no idea it would get as many views as it has. And so thank you so much for the support and hello to all of my new subscribers. Like I don't even know if I'm going out for Halloween. Like I really just put all these outfits together today and I just thought it'd be really fun to share it with you all. So I did not buy anything to create these three looks. It was everything that I just had lying around. So obviously you could improvise or substitute items that you may not have for other ones. I just thought it'd be really fun to show you my take on DIY Halloween costumes and a few that I came up with. So let's just get to the first outfit. The first one is Netflix and chill. I've seen a lot of people do the two like duo costumes, but I wanted to make it just for one person. So I found a pair of red leggings that I owned already, and then I also put it with a little red crop top. Of course, any red outfit would do. If you don't have red pants, you can also switch this out for a pair of jean shorts or like pants or whatnot. I think that would look just as good. And then I created this belt for it. So what I did was I went on the internet, looked up cartoon ice cubes and cartoon snowflakes. I picked them with faces because I thought it was cute. And then I cut them all out, and then I just glue gunned them onto a piece of red ribbon that I I had lying around from Christmas time and then I kind of created a belt I tried to add some variety to it with different sizes of ice cubes and different kind of just making it look a little bit messy if you will so I made sure I saved some of those cutouts that I got from the internet I'll link all of the images I used below um, and to put them on myself so this is everything guys for all of these costumes pretty much I use this it is body tape like double-sided stick like clothing tape this sticks to your skin without it being painful it also helps stick fabric to your skin so it's just so so good and it is what I use for pretty much all of these DIYs so then I actually cut the red shiny leggings into shorts and I used the extra fabric to create this really cool choker I just thought it would make it a little bit more trendy and of course I put the Netflix logo onto my red shirt and there you go that was my costume I wore it with white sneakers I just thought it would look really cool and it was already kind of athletic-y so I figured like why not just take it to the next level and wear it with white sneakers I thought it was really cute and helped complete the look so the next costume I have here is Yeezy season. Now a lot of people were commenting like is anyone going to even wear those boots out in public when I made the DIY? Yes you can! As your Halloween costume if it's not like your thing to wear them in real life. I took the Yeezy boots that I made in my DIY video that I'll link down below and then I took a, a sand colored sweater and then a pair of army green shorts and then a pair of pantyhose and put the pantyhose under the army green shorts because I just felt like that gave it the Yeezy vibe and then one of my pet peeves is when people don't know what I am, so I have to make it very, very literal. So I know for some of the invites for Yeezy, he just used like bold Arial font and then made it like, just like wrote like an invite. I'll give an example like somewhere here of like what he did. So I decided to print that out and literally just stick it on me so people would know what I was. And then I tied my hair in a low ponytail because that's what I noticed a lot of um, his models were doing in Yeezy season two. So this last costume is the schoolgirl with the pencil in her nose. It's such a funny spin on like a cliche, like typical girl Halloween costume. So what I did here is my camera actually died in the middle of this, so I'm sorry I didn't get to show you the whole thing, but I wanted to look like a pencil went right through my nose. Now I found this idea on Instagram and I just thought it was really funny. So I decided to do my own DIY version of it with just some eyelash glue as well as some cotton balls and then a pencil. So just make sure the pencil is cut like really smooth and you can break it and then just use a box cutter to smooth it out. And then what you want to do is take some of that um, tape that I was using the fabric tape and just stick it onto the pencil and then stick it where you want to put it, like in your nose. And then I took the eyelash glue, put it all over around the surrounding like wound area and then put it on my nose. Now there's this tech, now this technique has been done before. I found it off another like Pinterest hack or something like that. And then I covered that part with foundation and then lipstick and then black eyeshadow. And the more you played with it, the more realistic and gruesome it got. And then after that, I just kind of did my contour a little bit, a little bit ghostly. And then I put on my schoolgirl look. And it's so easy because you can get all the clothing items you have like from home. So I just wore a white collared shirt. Um, it's actually like a boys one. And then I rolled it up, I tied it. I did like a little like lacy bra action. And then I make sure I tape myself in place because if I did it, I would definitely suffer a wardrobe malfunction. And then I have this cute little skirt from Forever 21 that's pleated, but of course any type of little short skirt would do. And then I wore these Argyle socks. I think that just made it really preppy. And then I wore sneakers once again, and then I tied my hair. Instead of doing pigtails, I kind of wanted to do something like different. So I did like 
these two little mini pigtails just on the front parts of my hair. And yeah, I just thought it'd be really surprising from because if someone's looking at you from the back, they're just gonna think, oh, this girl's so unoriginal. She did this schoolgirl look and then bam, you have a pencil shoved in your nose. So that is the end of my last minute DIY Halloween looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what your favorite look was in the comment section below. I'm really, really curious to know because I may go out on Halloween night and I don't know which one to rock. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And of course, all my social media links will be in the down bar below. Thank you once again for all the support and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Netflix and Do, 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 do. My rabbit hit me. Okay, now I just need to take it out. Ah! Actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Now I just have like, oh, ah!